Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games and welcome back to part um, 7 of my United Rivers Commune campaign. So let's just kind of keep things moving along here in this war against uh, the zebra peoples. Uh, Alright. Hold on. Uh, oh, we can switch out the mag rifles we're using now. We've got something a bit better. Um... We could start doing some anti-tank, get that anti-tank hard tank going. Uh, oh, actually, wow, we're, we're kind of behind on uh, how good our anti-tank equipment could be right now. So, I want to just check that supply here. All right, not, not great, not awful. Uh, I've seen worse in my time. Uh, we have a little bit of a cutoff here. Let's move some people to actually no, that'd be a bad idea Let's just cut through here uh, There's no docks or anything, but All right, uh oh, we're being pushed back not good Ooh, They're gonna take this back Yeah, or maybe uh, yeah, they are I think Okay, we don't have any air bases over this area, uh, so note to self, when we start heading west, we need to uh, have some, because I think this is the westernmost air base I have at the moment. Hmm. I'll set up some others here. Okay. Uh... There we go. A lot more fighters. More than enough, I think. Oh my gosh, I've got uh, over 2,500 uh, close air support alone. There we go. More than enough. This is uh, everything I was capturing from the others. Hmm, let's take a look here. Okay, I've run out of artillery and support equipment, so I probably should stop at least advancing here on the western front, because we're clearly not making any sort of progress. Um, hmm. Let's start... There really needs to be just a hot key. Oh, they did set it up. Yeah, supply is four now. Okay, cool. I don't think it was like that before. There we go. So that's a whole lot of railroads or railways we're trying to set up here. Um, oh, we could set him up in an officer core role. Not right now, though. Uh, let's do maybe attack. Actually, let's get recon bonus because I think I already have that re one of those in my officer corp. <clears throat> uh, air superiority, air wing mission gain. Yeah, we want that ace generation. I like when we get aces, though. Hardly seems to happen at all for me. We're going to do the offensive chief of the army, though. Uh huh. See, so, yeah, we, we're we're getting we're getting in a bit of a bind here. There, that's sort of helping a little bit. Hmm. Okay, they have a dock here, so they're not really gonna run out of supply just because I've spli sliced them in half here. That ain't gonna work. Okay, we got the better infantry equipment finally ready to go. Uh, let's come over here, start getting better artillery. Artillery, the king of the battle. Mm, see, they've, they've bunched up here in Renvelia. So that's not working, that's not working. 
This might work. No, it won't. Alright, everybody along the line just hold. Let's hold and make them come to us. Oh, new land doctrine time. Never did think about which one we wanted to go, which direction we wanted to go. Got spool, full spectrum operations. I didn't even see all of this down here. Wow. Shore bombardment stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is for really, really late game things. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, going above and beyond once again, Equestria at War Team. Maybe I should go in on the tanks. There's that air superiority over there on the left side. Yeah, we're going to left side. Concentrated fire. Okay, we don't need the special forces, I think. We could start looking to the skies. To the skies. See the river rise. Oh, yeah, right. Triumphant revolution. At long last, the proletariat of the Riverland stands proud and victorious. After a great struggle, the East is united under socialism. This is the beginning of a new golden age. May our country become a true utopia for all the world to admire. That's right. Now we can start dealing with uh, all these negative uh, issues we have. Okay. Hmm. What is this that's outdated? HS product. That's medium tank chassis and then the battle rifles. Are they better than the ones I've got now? Submachine guns. Oh, shoot. I accidentally switched them out. Okay, I guess we're using that then. Uh, race for the bomb. What does that mean? Uh, we cannot allow others to develop an atomic bomb before us. Uh, we must do whatever we can to ensure our technological superiority is not threatened. We have to reduce uh, atomic research and not drop our first bomb, and we don't have the National Spirit race with the bomb. Nuclear research speed plus 10%, nuclear construction speed plus 20%. Oh, okay. We just get that for free? That's strange. Okay, more perfect union. So we have to have completed certain focuses, and then we can start to, uh, you know, slowly slowly make things better. Yeah, so I should have done this first so I could have gotten started right away. Oh, can I switch to war economy now? No, I don't have the war support. Dang. Yeah, I really don't have the war support. Uh, well, we're doing some war propaganda. Alright, here we go. Let's maybe set up some MPs. We might need those because uh, we're already starting to deal with freaking resistance in a couple of different areas here. What exactly are we using? Okay, we have civilian oversight. Let's switch to the local police force. Police force, all reliable. Okay, cool. This is working. Now, where is the nearest supply depot in this area? It's a uh, Hornovic. Not super useful. Mm. Yeah, we'll just start pushing down here to the southeast. Get that supply hub once we can, uh, as soon as we can. I see we lost that tile, but we couldn't have held that tile anyway. Mm. They're going to be a pain. Watertown capitulated to who? Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Help will is running wild. That uh, could be a long-term problem. Maybe we should think about starting to populate this front line. And uh, the GSG is about to finally win this war. Wow, how many years was this war going on? They were fending off Prywin and their allies. Grafonians are getting huge. Yeah, we look strong, but uh, I think we might be a paper tiger, guys. Actually, no, it's just supply. Supply is what's limiting us the most at the moment. We're, we're totally okay. 
We don't have very many uh, civilian factories, though. Not nearly as many as I'd like. It's because, yeah, the consumer good factories, 47% because of the, the disparate economies and stuff. Damn. We're trying to improve the workers' conditions. It's helping a little bit. Or it's hurting the consumer good factories, but it's helping overall. Military integration scheme. Crack down on reactionaries. Yeah, we're about to get a, a bunch of political powers if I don't have a, so much already. Alright, army offense. Should have grabbed that as soon as I had the chance. Prince of Terror. Damage to the damage to garrisons thing might be useful. Mm. Yeah, we'll do Prince of Terror and let's also start rooting out resistance in some of these areas. Caesar, what is it? What are you meowing about? Caesar? Hmm. Uh, we're also dealing with resistance from Nimbusia, I was noticing. Okay, Triumphant Revolution. Uh, so, which ones do we need? Okay, so we've got here, oh, we got yet another new flag. Uh, decisions to coordinate a Red River Army. We can create a culture, dispose of various anti-socialist stuff. Let's start working on the economy, socialism for all. The members of the coalition had wildly disparate economies, ranging from substance, agriculture, to modern industry. It is time we unite the nations in socialism and abolish private property everywhere. More developed regions shall aid the poorer ones until all are equal. Workers of the Riverlands shall own the means of production. Completing this focus will unlock decisions to allow us to rebuild and integrate the various Riverlander economies into our socialist economic model. Good. Uh, Okay, it looks like we're actually able to cover everything here now. That's good. Uh, we're already starting to recover a little bit. Yeah, did we? Did we just? Did we just get this cord automatically? Yes, we did. All right. So the Nimbusia problem's gone. Uh, we're not getting all the aluminum we're supposed to, but it's fine because we don't need it. Yeah, because we cored Nimbusia and they've got a bunch of aluminum. Very nice. Awesome. Okay. Next up, uh, let's keep adding better reconnaissance. So much we have to catch up on. How do I only have, I only had two factories making artillery. No wonder I was running out. Uh, let's deal with the federated parishes. Yeah, we might be the only ones giving them factory or like most of the, what they get in the world is from their factories. <laughs> Yeah, big Griffonian Empire means uh, means a big problem later. All right, counter, counter attack. Right here, they messed up. They overextended. Or here too, yeah. No, 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 actually you go here, you go there. Yeah, whoops. Oh. Might have over pushed themselves. Nope, here come the reinforcements. Although maybe, yeah, it's just a little mountaineer. Push along the whole front line. Hmm. Okay. Katarina has uh, grown up. That's great. Let's go infantry expert, yes? Yeah. Keep boosting that infantry attack wherever I can. Out here in the west, looking pretty good. Yep, the supply is starting to come through, looking much, much better. Right here, look at that, just one one mountain division all by itself. Oh no, see, see, they keep they keep moving. We're just compressing their divisions without actually killing particularly many of them. All right, how's it looking up here? Uh, we're also real short on the support equipment. Industry, yeah, we could keep coming down here, I think. Mm, I want better growth. All 
Oh, I don't think that's going to go well. Yeah, the parish has just declared war on the GSG. <laughs> Alright, I probably could stop building so many railways in this direction here soon. Alright, we've kind of got them bottled up here. Let's move a couple more of these loose divisions down. Alright, this is definitely not working here in the West. Okay, socialism's for all. Next up, across our newborn country, far-right terrorists seek to smother the nation in its crib. They must be stopped at once. Our soldiers shall be sent forth to arrest suspects. Additional guards will protect our cities. And anti-reactionary propaganda will be published. So, let's, uh, let's come down here. We start integrating the economies. Absolutely. Uh, and now we just have to remember to be doing that constantly. Oh, war propaganda. Also want that to be going at all times so we can eventually move to a war economy to help with the consumer goods. Yeah, that's going to be very useful, I think. Alright, let's see if we could uh, take the port. Mm, nope, nope. Not with, uh, not with this kind of supply. At least the army experience is uh, pouring in. Speaking of army experience, let's send another attaché. Why will they not accept too low opinion of us? I'm no, I'm like giving you half of your factories. What do you mean your opinion of me is low? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Wait, construction, recruit, deploy, production, production. There we go. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more rubber, a lot more steel, a lot more other stuff. Uh, so much to do, so much to research. See, now, now they're not trading stuff with me anymore. We might actually have to build refineries, as much as I hate to say it. Uh, the Appaloosian Protectorate. There's Whitetail. I think we're gonna have to trade with... Uh, yeah, we got trade with the changelings. I guess, uh, yeah, federated parishes, they close their economy. Yeah, let's see how that works out for you. Without my factories constantly filling you up, buttercup. Yeah, with the con with the confederate flag, very classy. Oh, this is one happy camper, protector larynx. <laughs> uh, Hmm. Maybe once I'm caught up, maybe I need to be doing some, uh... Oh, good, these are all ready. So we could start assigning more of these. C and Z, okay. Good, could just hotkey this quickly now. Going to, oh, no, these are writers, so these are the X, so. Yeah, our arrow, this is some real arrows will blot out the sun stuff hours right here. Okay. Okay, good, good. What's next? Uh, open configuration panel. Get rid of that. I don't need that. Uh, all right, we can finally slow down researching this anti-tank. Uh, so next up, we've got the regular MPs. We have some pony technologies here we haven't done yet. Pegasi, Pegasi organization. Bad weather penalty, bad weather penalty. Don't need any of those. Uh, we're pretty far behind on the plane technology, but we have so many, it's probably irrelevant. Hmm. Yeah, we just have a lot of stuff here that we needs getting. Making absolutely no progress in this region. There goes Lucy. 
So now the only thing that's going to help Sycamian hold on is this little... Is that they have a really small area they have to defend. Concord out of free nations. Hmm. Try to think what's the best place. Ah. Let's see. Eberkernig. Maybe I should set up uh, some marines. How long will that take? Like probably a hundred something days to research them. Oh no, we've already got marines. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's start building some marines and uh, try to set up a naval invasion. I don't have much of a navy, but it is there. How short am I on? Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, we're gonna get, they're gonna send us a uh, lend -lease. So I've sent an attache, or I'm gonna try to send an attache here to their enemy, to a uh, federated Sikmian, and then these guys are giving me weapons. <laughs> so that's how I'm draining their war chest to help my fellow communists. That's really freaking funny. Uh, oh, they're syndicalists, excuse me. And I'm not a communist, I'm socialist. Uh, and so they immediately are issuing a diplomatic protest, which makes sense. It's just, yo, dude, I'm sending you artillery and guns and stuff, but you're you're helping my enemy. <laughs> it's just, uh, our attaches will be sent where we please. Yeah. Deal with it. Okay, let's get the better anti-tank. Need a lot more steel now. All right, one nation, one culture. Start subduing the terrorists. This one is going to do nationalism or racism or diseases which must be cured. The people of the union should be loyal to their class, not their homelands or race. Reforms must be enacted. Social realism shall become the official art style of the union. Every child shall be taught to speak Rejeken and racial equality must be promoted. We shall be united in solidarity. Okay, so the social realism thing reminded me, and if anybody knows, could you help me out? Um... I've kind of assigned myself a bunch of Russian literature um, that I wanted to read this year, and I'm trying to go in chronological order. So right now, uh, I, I ended up actually going backwards. I started earlier than I thought I needed to. Like, I ended up going back to Pushkin. Oh, that's right, and these two are at war with each other at the same time. So so this is just, this is, you know, the, the two monkeys with knives and everybody's standing around with their cash. <laughs> that's what's going on here. Just let one of them kill the other. Oh, Colt Shadow got hurt. I want to set up a preferred tactic. Let's see, army regrouping, infantry. Oh, I could just set him up as an advisor, but I think I'm already maxed out on my advisors pretty much. Yeah, I think these are, well, I guess Tesla could be better. Tito Titovich, forgot about that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, so I've been reading a lot of Russian literature, uh, and the way I had it originally started is I was going to do some Dostoevsky and go forward, so like my end goal is I wanted to end on Life and Fate by Vasily Grossman. Uh, and so, like, yeah, I kind of made my own personal curriculum, for lack of a better word, of stuff I wanted to read. And then when I was reading Crime and Punishment, uh, I was reading the, I think it was Max Reddy or Oscar Reddy. The, uh, the, it was the Penguin Deluxe Edition, which, incidentally, don't get caught up in Penguin Deluxe Editions. They're not all good. Like, I actually saw the Moby Dick one in a thrift store recently. It freaking sucks. Uh, it's just got, like, a pretty picture on the front, and that's about it. Did not good notes. There's no, like, intro essay. Awful. Awful. And it's like the MSRP is, like, 20 bucks. What a joke. Like, for what? I can get a copy of Moby Dick from like Bantam Books for four bucks uh, compared to that and it's gonna have a nice cover too. Anyway, so so I was looking into, okay, I want, so I ended up going, cause I was reading the, that version of Crime and Punishment and there's like a lot of great notes, a lot of great essays and it, it kept talking about like some of the 
the the influences and like the how Russian literature has changed, how it like it evolved, and like who are the key figures. And eventually, I decided, okay, I need to go all the way back to Pushkin, actually. Uh, so I ended up like really doing some research and deciding, okay, who are the key Russian authors I want to read between you know Pushkin up to Vasily Grossman, and I ended up uh, you know making again a curriculum for myself. It's gonna take me all year. Uh, that's the way I'm kind of timing it out. Actually, it might take me longer than all year because I keep adding crap to it. Anyway, uh, hold on a second. Let's read this real quick. So the United Army is the various armies of the former nations continue to exist, all with their own unique organizations, communications, and commanders. How can we defend ourselves from foreign counter-revolutionary aggression if we are so divided? Huge reforms need to be enacted at once to reform our military into a single powerful army. Yeah, so... We have to constantly be integrating the economies, working on that shared identity. Uh, so this is going to keep boosting our stability up, which is very good. Am I doing the war propaganda right now? I think I am. Where's the... No, where is the war propaganda? Hmm. Well, I think I'd already used it. So I, I'm going to read uh, a lot of famous ones. You know, Tolstoy, of course. I've read Tolstoy before. But I'm going to read people I haven't read before, like Turgenev. But once I hit the 20th century, things get a little tricky. Um, we're going to say no to this pact of non-aggression. Uh, and so the name that I keep seeing is like the Soviet art author is uh, Maxim Gorky. Like he's supposed to be the father of social realism. There goes Crystal City, by the way. So... Uh, the King Sombra should be on his last legs now. Is uh, Maxim Gorky, and I keep saying, like, "Oh, his plays and his writings and whatever." Like this is this is this is Soviet style literature. This is the social realism that they wanted. Because uh, a lot of the other stuff on my to read list is stuff that was banned. Because that's what it seems to be in Russian literature. It's like if your book wasn't banned, like, tch, are you even trying, bro? Like nobody gives a crap about your book, bro. Uh, but I can't seem to find any good stuff in English for Gorky. So, like, if I go to, like, right now on the other monitor, if I went, okay, Maxim Gorky. Um. Oh! Oh, wait, what? Hold on, I just found something. Collected works of Maxim Gorky. Oh, God, it's expensive. Is this, like, something new? Did it just get printed? Uh. Okay, I guess never mind then. Uh. But yeah, I don't want to read every single thing Gorky ever wrote, so if anybody knows who I'm talking about and can, um, like, recommend anything in particular that I should read from him, uh, please do. Because, like, you know, like, Dostoevsky, I've read Crime and Punishment, and I think I'll also read Notes from the Underground, then I'm going to move on. It's like, I'm not trying to read all Russian literature that's ever existed, but I'm trying to, you know, get a nice... A nice look at the silver into the golden age. Or excuse me, the golden into the silver age. So we are now the Riverland Socialist Federal Republic, by the way. How about that? We're red because we've got the flag change. I forgot to mention that. Nationalism persists. Despite the best efforts of our security forces and propagandists, national resistance groups continue to be a threat to the revolution. The vast and rugged Riverlands provide excellent staging grounds for these organizations who operate in the shadows. When we close down an illegal printing press in one place, an armory gets raided for guns somewhere else. We seem to be making little headway in uprooting the counter-revolutionary threat. In fact, some bureaucrats subdue, we've got to subdue the terrorists. In fact, some bureaucrats in the capital are suggesting we stop our efforts and negotiate with these groups so that we can stop the unrest. Of course, that would cause us to lose all progress we did make. Uh, so. Part of me says we should step in and try to negotiate with them because I think that makes... Because we're going to have to do this again if I ever do a Caramel Haze run. Uh, but I, I think this might go beyond role play. So we could say we don't negotiate and we lose some political power. Or we could say we could step in before someone gets hurt, some pony gets hurt. So we get a little bit of stability back, a little bit of war support. So we're just getting a refund, really. And, yeah, we'll get a pinch more stability. Like, ooh, 1% stability. Uh, yeah, because then we, we lose it and then we take it back. So it's, it's essentially in the war support. It's Okay, so basically do we want to get one stability and one war support back as a rebate? 
That's a really... That seems like really a waste of time. Uh, having said that, I think we'll say we'll step in before some pony gets hurt. Uh, just for roleplay. I think that works better for our uh, for the government type that we're doing. We're doing the democratic socialism instead of like the caramel haze. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what specific branch of, uh, of communism he does. I'm guessing it's maybe vanguard. Uh, vanguard socialism. Alright, how's the supply looking? Not great. Still not great. Uh, how's the production looking? Oh no, where'd all my infantry equipment go? <laughs> I should post all the the Russian stuff I'm reading. I think people would find it interesting. Cause like my original plan is I was gonna read like the really really big names. I was gonna read some Chekhov. I was gonna read some. Uh, here we go. Tactical control. I was gonna read like Chekhov, Tolstoy, um, Bulgakov, Bul Bulgakov. I'm not sure. But then yeah, I started reading that that edition of Crime and Punishment, and there was just so so much. Um, background and then that's when I started looking more into it um okay unite the armies boy oh boy though uh Russian lit like believe the hype it is sad it, it, it is a sad sad story and for example I won't I won't spoil too many things because a lot of Russian literature I've already noticed is that You'll be having a main story, but then maybe it'll digress for a chapter. And Tolstoy's the best at that, from what I've read so far. But, you know, you'll have these side characters who have their own stories going on. Now, these aren't going to be spoilers for things, but when I was reading... Um, I could take this now. Uh, you know, let's take it just so we can get the, the bonus taken care of. Uh, so I don't forget about that later. Um... Uh, yeah, so I was reading Crime and Punishment, and I was almost done with it, and, uh, I, I hit this scene where a character blows his brains out, it, it just is no way around it, you know, he gets a pistol, and, you know, paints the wall with his brains. Uh, so then, I was just about done, and then that night, I just had decided, you know what, let me read a little bit of Chekhov, because I got this short story collection of his Grand Army of the Republic. Wow, that's a lot of recruitable uh, population there. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. Officer planning, every army leader will get more planning. Vander Gallup. You have a Marine bonus here. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten that I have those Marines in training, by the way. Infrastructure. Oh, right, I haven't even been fixing poverty yet. So, let's see here. Illegible, low poverty. We'll take us to mild poverty, but we're already on low poverty. Unlocks decision to tackle the poverty problem. Oh, okay, let's, let's start heading that way. So, um... <laughs> But yeah, so so I'm reading I'm reading Dostoevsky and a character blows his brains out. It's like, okay, wow. Uh, but you know, it's that's what I hear. That's what I've heard Dostoevsky is. Then that night, I pull I I grab Chekhov and I read one of his short stories, and because it's a short story, I won't say which one to spoil it. And the only thing I've heard about Chekhov is like, oh, Chekhov is like the happiest Russian writer. I'm like, let's check this guy out. Uh, that story ends with the main character blowing his brains out, and it's just Jesus. This happened, it's like, it was, you know, it's the the joke, right? It's like uh, if I had a nickel for every time I read a Russian liter literary character uh, blow his brains out um, in the last twenty four hours, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot of money, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> All right, let's set up. A, I think we're gonna set up a supply hub, like right here. There we go. Wait, what? There we go. And, uh... Well, yeah, I gotta build that first. So how long is that hub gonna take to make? Hubs take a pretty long time, huh? Oh, actually, not really. June 10... 1014? That's not bad at all. Although this is not really where I need the hub. I should have built it over here, actually. 
So I already messed that up. Oh, I just realized how long today's episode has gone. Okay, I got me started talking about Russian lit. Uh, Alright. Uh, we got some more free civilian factories here. Yeah, let's let's build a hub. Like, right there. Okay. Wait, whoops. Dang it, I'm always goofing up how goofing on how to do that right. Okay, so we'll have one there and we want another here. Uh click. There. Yes. Okay. Good. We'll have two ways going in there. Yeah, this this is a kind of turned into our own little Vietnam here. Uh Oh gosh, we lost 300,000 in this war. Uh, well, that's what happens when we were doing this. this had, that's when I wasn't paying attention early on. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm Conquering History Games. In the next episode, uh, once we get the supply up and running, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be able to run down in here pretty quickly. Oh yeah, and the GSG is also fighting the zebra as well. These uh, these deer fight like lions. Good for them. Uh, yeah, look at look at what is they're up against. They're up against essentially a third of the continent. Very brave, very brave. But unfortunately, they followed a slightly different branch of leftist thought, so um, they must be destroyed. Uh, I'm Kirk History Games. Y'all have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye bye.